Okay guys, so for today I want to talk about two things really quick. It is 104 degrees here in Texas. So I thought, why not talk about the hottest time of the day and why it's the hottest time of the day. And then I want to talk about normal temperature versus heat index. So we're going to try to keep this short. Um, so, the reason why there is the hottest time of the day, which is normally, what, 2 to 4, somewhere about that, you know, give or take, the reason that it's the hottest time of the day is because not only do you have the normal air temperature, but you also have the infrared heat that has been absorbed by the earth for hours and hours and hours and then shot back out into space, radiated back out into space, whatever wording you want to use, but um, the earth absorbs heat and absorbs heat and then absorbs heat and then about 1.30, 2 o'clock, it starts to radiate that heat back out into space. So you have the heat from the sun and then the infrared heat coming up from the earth matching together and leaving you with the hottest time of the day okay so that's the short answer now let's talk about the regular air temperature versus the heat index a lot of us have heard of the heat index we go Man, it feels like it's so much hotter than it is. Well, that's because it is. The exact reason for the heat index is exactly what we just talked about. The normal temperature, like it's 104 today, okay? The heat index was like 106 today. So the normal air from just the sun was 104. That was what the temperature was doesn't account for the infrared being re radiated back out in into space um, which is the difference between what it feels like and what it actually is you know because we can't see infrared but we feel it our sun our uh, our skin responds to infrared by getting sunburned that's what actually causes it is the UV rays coming in and then the um, the infrared being radiated off of our skin and going back out into space towards the sun. So, um, let's say it's 104, heat index was 106, 107, whatever it was. And that's because the normal temperature, the 104, is only taking into account the temperature of the air. It is not taking into account the infrared that is also being radiated. So... That's the short video for today. Hope you learned something.